In this video, we're going to be finding the area of three triangles using Python. The three triangles that we're going to be going over today are right angle triangles, acute triangles, and obtuse triangles. In the last video, we learned how to draw all three of these triangles using Python Turtle, so don't mind to check that video out. So just before we get into the coding part, we're first going to need to know how to calculate the area of all three of these triangles. So let's start off with a right angle triangle. So just to refresh our minds, a right angle triangle is a triangle that has a 90 degrees angle. So I'll put how a right angle triangle looks like on the screen and I'll also label the points. So we're going to label the points A, B, and C and what we're going to do is that we're going to allow the user to input three parameters into our program. So the three given parameters that the user is going to be inputting is the length of the base or otherwise known as A and B, side AB, and then the height or side AC, and also the angle of 90 degrees. And with these three parameters, we're going to be able to find the area of a right angle triangle. So to calculate the area of a right angle triangle, we're basically going to do one half times base times height, or otherwise known as one half times side AB and times side AC. And so this is the first formula that we're going to be using to find out the area of a triangle. So next, let's find out how to calculate the area of an acute triangle. So just to refresh our minds once again, an acute triangle is a triangle that has three acute angles, which are all less than 90 degrees. So once again, in this triangle, the user will be able to input three parameters, which will be the length of one side, so for example, AB, and second, the length of the other side, which is AC, and also the angle that they create. So how do we calculate the area of an acute triangle? So to calculate the area of an acute triangle, in the formula is basically area equals to one half times base times height. So we already know that base is equal to AB, but what is the height of this triangle? So to find out the height of this triangle, we're first going to draw a line in the middle of the triangle, and we're going to name the line CD. And let's also include an angle, which is AB and AC, what they've created, and let's just call that angle theta. Since now we have our angle theta and our height CD, now we're going to use sine theta to find out the height of our triangle. So we're basically going to say sine theta is equal to CD over AC. So if we push AC to the other side, then it will be multiplying sine theta, which would, so CD, which is otherwise known as height, equals to AC times sine theta. So from here, we can do one half times base times height, and then we can do one half times AB times AC times sine theta, which is then our second formula to find out the area of a triangle. So finally, we need to know how to solve the area of an obtuse triangle. So how do we solve an area of an obtuse triangle? So just in case you forgot, an obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle that is above 90 degrees and two acute angles which are below 90 degrees. So from here, we're going to allow the user to import the length of all three of these sides, A, B, and C. So with all three of these sides, we're first going to need to find out what the semi-perimeter of the triangle is. So to find the semi-perimeter, we can just do A plus B plus C and divide that by 2. So let's just say that equals to S. So now since we have S, we can do area equals to square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. And with that, we can find the area of an obtuse triangle. So that is our final formula for finding an area of a triangle. But there is one more thing that I want to go over, and that is the inequality theorem. So while choosing a value for A, B, and C, the triangle must be closed. And the triangle shouldn't be open, and I'll put a picture of how a triangle looks like when it's open on the screen. So if our triangle is open, then our program will not be able to give you the answer for the area. So what the inequality theorem states, it says that the sum of any two sides must be greater than the third one. So A plus B should be greater than C, or B plus C should be greater than A. So that is basically the inequality theorem, and now let's get on with the Python code. Okay, so I already have all the Python code right here, so I'm just going to explain what each line does. So let's start off with the top. So first we're going to be importing a library called math. So math is an inbuilt Python library, and it will help us to do all of our calculations such as the sine, cos, and tan, and it will also help us to square root things very easily. And then next here we're giving instructions to the user. So we're just going to print out these four lines. So what these four lines say is that, so we're first going to print out this program. We'll calculate the area of a triangle. So next we're printing enter one if you know the base and height. So next we're saying enter two if you know two sides of the triangle and the angle they form. And finally, we're printing enter three if you know all sides. And then here we're allowing the user to import one, two, or three. So here we're going to be checking for invalid inputs. So basically, we're going to put these all in a, a while loop. And if, if the type is not equal to 1, and the type is not equal to 2, and the type is not equal to 3, then we're just going to put this once again. So basically how this works is that if somebody types something that is not 1, 2, or 3, 
so then the program will just basically re-input this message once again. So let's just quickly test how this works. So if I quickly just run this, so then if I just pull this right over here, then we can see that this pops up so far. So here it shows us that these three, it shows us these four prints. So these are just the instructions and it says enter one, two, or three. So let's just say that we enter seven. So then it automatically just shows this once again. So if we import five, then that happens. If we import any other number, then it automatically just put this once again. This is basically what this while loop does. It just checks for the invalid inputs. So now if we move down over here, we're going to first create our first if loop. So if the type is equal to one, then we're going to allow the user to import the base. And we're also going to allow the user to import the height. And then by there, we're going to calculate the area, which is one half times base times height. So if you remember what we did in the right angle triangle, so we did the same formula. We did one half times base times height. And then after that, after the calculations, we're just going to print the area of the triangle is and then comma area. So based on whatever they import for base and height, the program's automatically going to find the area. And based on that, it's going to print it and show the user. So let's just test out this first one. So if we just run this, it should pop up right here. So I'm just going to open this up. So let's just first enter the number one because we just did one so far. And then next it's going to prompt us to enter the base. So the length of the base, let's just say that it is three. And then it also asks us for the height. So let's just do four. And then it's going to tell us the area of the triangle is six. So we can just confirm to see if this works. So we just did one half times base. So then it would multiply 0.5 times three and then times four, and that should give you six. So that was the first formula for finding out how to solve the area for a triangle. So now let's move down to our second one. So here we have if the type equals to the number two, then we're gonna do side one equals to the input. So we're gonna allow the user to import any number for side one. And then we're gonna allow the user to import any number for side two. And then we're also going to prompt the user to import the angle that these two sides form. Then we're going to make a variable called angle rad. So from here, we're just going to be converting from radians to degrees. So we're going to say angle rad is equal to angle math dot pi divided by 1e. So next, we're going to write area is equal to 0.5, or this could also be 1 divided by 2. So 0.5 times side 1 times side 2, and then math dot sin, and then our angle. So then after that, we're just going to be printing the area of the triangle is and then comma area. So this will just print out the area for this triangle. So now let's just run to see how this one will look like. So if we just press the run button and open this up right here. So I'll just make this bigger. And now let's enter two instead of one. And then it'll ask us to enter side one first. So if you see here, then it says enter side one. So let's just enter four and then enter side two, let's just enter three, and then the angle that they form in degrees. So we can just write, for example, let's just write 45. And then it'll give us the area of the triangle, which is 4.24 and so on. So let's run this another time. So let's just rerun this. And now let's just enter the number two again, and enter side one, we're gonna put three and four, and then degrees, let's just put any number, it doesn't really matter, just for testing purposes. So let's put 60. So the area of the triangle is 5.19 and so on. So this is basically our second formula for finding out the area of a triangle. So now let's move on to our final formula. So here we're doing if type is equal to three, then we're gonna do side one is equal to enter side one, and then side two is equal to enter side two, and side three is equal to enter side three. So if you remember in the beginning of the video we did we're going to allow the user to import all three of the sides. So that's what we're doing here. So we're allowing them to enter all three sides. And then what we're doing here is that we're doing the semi-perimeter is equal to side one plus side two plus side three and divide by two. So remember, we first had to find out the semi-perimeter to find the area. And then after that, we're doing area is equal to math dot square root. So then we're doing SP times SP minus side one times uh, semi-perimeter minus side two times once again, semi-perimeter minus side three. So if you remember the formula, we first had to find out the semi-perimeter, and based on that, we just multiply it uh, against all of these sides and minus it. And then after that, we're just printing the area of the triangle is, and then comma area, which is this. And once again, remember that the sum of two sides have to be greater than the third side, 
or else our program will not work. So let's run this to see how this program works. So we're first going to enter the number 3 now. And then we're going to enter, the, first off, we first have the side 1. So we're going to enter, let's just say 5. And for side 2, let's just enter 4. So if I put, so these two equal to 9 together. So if I put 6, then it should give our area. And the area of the triangle is 9.92. And let's try this once again. So let's enter the number 3. So enter side 1. So 2, 2, so those equal to 4. So if we put 2 once again, then the area of the triangle is 1.73. Okay, so now let's try how the inequality theorem works with this program. So if we just quickly run this again, and let's open this up. So now let's enter the number 3, but now let's make it so that the two sides will equal less than the third side. So if we put 3 and 3, then that will equal to 6. And so now we're going to put a number that's greater than 6. So let's just put 8, for example. Then this should probably crash our program because basically this triangle is closed. The triangle wouldn't be connected in this point. So that's why just make sure that your triangle is closed in order for this program to work. And that's basically it for how to calculate the area of these triangles inside of Python. If you guys ended up enjoying this video, don't mind to drop a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.